Alright, last week I showed you the classic pass. This week I'll show you its little brother, the Hermann pass. Now this is definitely an easier pass to do than the classic pass, but uh, it does have a few angle sensitivities, so you have to be careful about where you're doing it. But in the right context, it's a perfect move. It's absolutely invisible. So here's an exposed view of what that looks like. Okay. Now, let's break it down. So this is going to be a much shorter explanation than the classic pass because there's less going on. But to start off with, just remove half the cards and practice doing this. Okay, this is really easy to do. Just hold the cards in your left hand mechanics grip and all you're doing is pushing down with your left pinky on that bottom right edge of the cards. And this will cause the cards to pivot up just like that. And you want to pivot it up until this this edge right here is pointing straight towards the ceiling. So it should be absolutely vertical. Yeah? Okay. So once you are comfortable with doing that, you're ready to do the pass. So simply get your break uh, wherever you want to do your pass. You're going to come over with your right hand, lift up just a little bit above that break, and then you're going to do that same move under the cover of the right hand and the right hand cards. Okay? So you do it until it's vertical. At this point, just lower your right hand cards, and you're going to end up in this position right here. So this packet right here is being hidden by my right hand. So at the proper angles, you can't see it at all. Okay? Now, at this point, you just need to square up the cards. There's a few ways to do this, and this is what distinguishes the different variations between the passes. Uh, there's my phone. I'm just going to let it ring. Give it a few more seconds. Okay. So now, the most uh, standard way to square up the pack is just fold your left fingers in like this. Okay, and you're going to do that under the cover of maybe squaring the cards up. Now there's also another pass called the Midnight Shift. It's basically the same exact thing, but as you fold these cards in, you're also giving the cards a twist. So at full speed it looks like this. So what you're imitating is kind of an all-around square up like this. Okay, now the most standard square up that you've seen is where you hold the cards in your right hand and you turn clockwise and then regrip it like this. In this case, you're doing the exact opposite. You're holding the cards in your left hand, you're going counterclockwise, and then regripping the cards like this. Okay, so you do that as you fold your left fingers in. And that really helps cover the pass because it, uh, it hides any inconsistencies there might be when you're squaring because the larger motion will cover the smaller motion. So even if they see a little flutter or a little um, separation between the two packets, it's no big deal. They'll just attribute it to the larger squaring up motion. There's uh, one more. It's called a turnover pass. You've probably heard of this before. This is probably the most common, well, maybe not the most common, but it's my favorite application of the Herman pass. So basically that's where, once you're in this position, all you do is you take your left thumb, you contact the face of these cards right here, and you just push up. And so you, I, can, I look at this like a mouth, right? And I'm just closing the mouth, right? And as I'm doing that, I'm turning the cards over. Okay, so the, the motion that you're simulating is this. Okay, but in reality, I'm doing a pass, right? I'm in this position, just push up with those left hand cards as you turn the cards over. It really covers the move perfectly. Now the last thing I'll say is that there's two main angles where you'll do this move. One is if uh, both you and your spectator are standing up, then you can do it just like I'm doing it right now. Right? When someone's looking down at the deck like this, the, the Hermit Pass is covered. The other... Um, angle you'll see it done at is if you're sitting down then you can't do it like this anymore because if if the, their eye is at the level of the deck they'll be able to see this initial move right here so instead what you do is you're gonna rotate your hands and do it sideways okay so now the long edge of the cards are um, pointing towards the ceiling and the ground 
and you're going to actually kind of turn your whole body to do it. So it'll be done at this angle right here. Right? Now, I, I love doing a color change in this position as well. It looks like this. Just shake the cards, and it changes. That probably wasn't a good example. That was a bit better. So the, all I'm doing there is I'm doing that initial move. And then once I'm in this position, all I'm really doing is shaking my hands, and that shaking motion squares up the cards, and it makes a really good color change. And then after that, I can show that, you know, that original card is nowhere to be seen. It's not on the top. It's not on the bottom. Okay, so that's uh, that's all I have to say about the Herman Pass. I hope that helps. And as usual, just let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.